Hey guys, what is going on? We are back, baby. It's your boy Sunny, and we're here with the manager career mode. We got three teams in mind. We got Manchester United. We're gonna go down there. We're gonna go down the pecking order. Who are we gonna pick? Who are we gonna pick? Are we gonna go with Chelsea? No, we're going even more down the pecking order. We're gonna go with Arsenal. No, we're going all, all the way back up. We're going to Manchester United. We're going with our supporting club, guys. We're going back to Manchester United, back where it started in FIFA 14, and we're going on Legendary. We had a bit of a dilemma, we were going to pick world class, but I want a challenge, so we're going on Legendary, as you can see, I'm putting my name in there, putting it in the contract, Gloria Sunny, I'm getting my grey suit on, my grey suit, I'm going out, I'm going to be the Manchester United manager, here we go, Manchester United pond, the new boss, Sunny. here I am, David Moyes, Get the hell out of here, man. He's been sacked, and Sonny comes in, man. But straight away, my first thought as the Manchester United manager was to go straight in and change my squad. Look at my squads, man. I had to make some changes to it. I had to. It just looked so awful, so diabolical. I had to change it up, man. I had to. I had to even change up the formation. And also, we had a right mid player playing in right back. So I'm going to be looking for a right back. Valencia playing in right back right now. Not the greatest thing. As you guys can see, Falcao and Van Persie up front. Rooney and CAM. I'm captain up there just behind my strikers. Manor in the left. Di Maria in the right. We got Daily Blind in the central defensive midfield role. We're also going to be looking for a holding central midfield player to take his place in the first team, man. Also, Rojo and Evans in center back. We got Valencia in right back who will be replaced. Sean in left back and De Gea in goal. And you guys are going to have to pause it if you want to see my second team and reserve team, man. But also, I do want to look for a second team striker and I do want to look for a reserve team striker. Maybe even a reserve center mid. I'm not sure yet. But we're going to go ahead and change it all up in my scout, my glo global transfer network scout instructions you guys can see I'm looking for a promising striker and also I'm changing this one what am I changing to a first team quality central midfield player who's it gonna be you guys don't know I don't even know yet who's it gonna be or do I know you guys are gonna see that up in this episode we're also looking for a right back to take the place of Valencia Raphael falling down to a 76 in the recent update so here we are with a 3.8 million offer from Sunderland are we gonna take it no, we're going to go ahead and reject it. We still want him in the squad just in case our right back gets injured. He can come into the team, put his heart and soul into the game and play his heart out, man. That's Rafael for you. That's Manchester United players for your ass, man. But look at that. We're on our scout report. We're deleting a shitload of players. We get down to Schneiderlin, Alex Song, and Danny Ings. That's the players we're going to keep on our scout report right there. We're looking at Schneiderlin. We're going to scout him further. I really wanted Alex Song, but he's on loan at West Ham, so there was no, no reason to even keep him in our scout report Danny Ings still in there and then we went to our squad we wanted to sell a few players maybe loan out a few players I think all I did was put players out on loan look at that we put out Hanazai putting him up for loan we also put Powell up for loan this is just in case these guys don't get gameplay obviously I want them to, to have games they were, I don't want them to stay at Man United get unhappy and then leave but anyway, we had to offer a new contract for Ben Amos. If you guys don't know any player over the age of 23, you can offer them a contract, a pre-contract agreement if they have less than six months, six months or less really, on their contract. And we did not want Ben Amos going off for free. So we offered him a new contract and then we tried to put him on the loan list, man. But we do get the scout report back for Schneiderlin. Look at that, 81 overall, 24 years of age, 8.5 million value. And we do go ahead and buy him while we offer a transfer of some, obviously. We, they want between 13 to 16.9 million. I did go ahead and offer 15 million. Well, I was going to go ahead and offer 15 million. And then I put it down to 10 and put Michael Carrick in there. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of that. Obviously, Michael Carrick has become a recent legend for Manchester United. A great player for Man United, man. But he wouldn't leave. He's very old now. I think he's 33 in the game, is it? And um, obviously, he's not going to want to leave Manchester United on a transfer. So I had to try and get rid of him somehow. You know, he's just going to be sitting there. He's not going to get gameplay. He's going to get unhappy. There was just no point to it. And also, if you guys didn't see that, that was real quick. While I was talking, Hanuzai also got a loan offer from Newcastle United. And I said no to that. I rejected that offer. And you know why? Because I didn't believe he would get gameplay at Newcastle. And I don't want him going to another team he's not going to get gameplay at. So I rejected it. And he does get an offer in soon. So hopefully, he'll play play great at that club look at this we're bringing Schneiderlin from Southampton they accepted the 10 million of Michael Carrick 
and we put in an offer for his contract man we also looked at a guy called Kingsley Coleman from Juventus a young striker and they wanted way too much money for him so I just deleted that message you guys didn't even need to see that another striker here we got Selke or Selke I'm not so sure how you pronounce that from Werder Bremen we're gonna go ahead and add him to the shortlist no we're gonna go ahead and just straight, straight away try and buy him that's right we're gonna straight away try and buy him I don't know why but his value is 1.2 million and they want between 4.6 and 7.4 that's a big big jump from 1.2 so we offer 1.5 million for the big B striker Sven Bender another CDM I was gonna get him but obviously now we're buying Schneiderlin I thought we'd just leave it out there's no point even looking at Sven Bender and also we rejected an offer from Palomo for Jones we do want him in on the bench as a um, backup center back we're gonna have Rojo our new center back in the, um, the back position or maybe it might even stay as Johnny Evans depends if I can get the money together and we also get an offering from Juventus of 28 million we counter off a 50 million for De Gea simply because I don't want to get rid of De Gea I don't want him to go and they they wanted him and I was just like you give me 50 million you can have him because they're probably not going to give it but look at this Schneiderlin coming to Manchester United obviously Michael Carrick going out but 50,000 a week for Schneiderlin the 81 overall that is a great pay from our behalf, like we're saving a lot of wages there, fifty thousand a week. I, I think Carrick was on something like eighty thousand or ninety thousand. I'm not sure. But look at that Schneiderlin straight in the team in that CDM position. They've reviewed the price tag and rejected our offer. We don't care because we didn't want to get rid of the air anyway. In the recent update, he goes up to an eighty-six which is probably still underrated for De Gea, the best goalkeeper in the Premier League, arguably the best goalkeeper in the world right now. Real Madrid even won him, and that, that means taking Casillas out of the firing line, man. But that's a big change for Real Madrid. Manchester City come in and they offer us 28.5 million for Juan Mata, and he's just not going anywhere. I don't want to get rid of Mata at all, but I did go to them and I said, go on, give me 60 million if you want him. They're not going to give it, so I just asked them for 60 million. If they did, obviously, I'll be like, yo, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of moolah right there man but they offered me 32.5 and i was just like you jumped up 5 million not even that just get out of my face man i don't i don't even want to speak to you get out of here man but they turned down an offer for selke of 1.5 million i went back in i put in 2 million and if they don't accept 2 million i'm afraid to say selke will not be a manchester united player this season but maybe next season i don't know man but our first friendly our first game of the career mode and we're gonna put our second team up there against Frankfurt let's see how they do in this big game July the 27th 2014 12 p.m. it's a Sunday afternoon no it's Sunday noon 12 p.m. Yeah, noon. Nil nil. It starts off 13th minute. Herrera gets the first goal. It comes for Manchester United. Second goal for United in the 25th minute. And then Herrera gets injured. He has to go off for Juan Mata in the 32nd minute. It does slow down a bit. And then Fellaini picks it back up. 53rd minute. Getting a goal for Manchester United. Then another goal. 69th minute. It just had to be 69, right? 69th minute. Young putting it into the back of the net for the second time of the game. And we beat Frankfurt 4 nil. Herrera getting the injury but we still pick up the win 4-0 Kelly had to go off and probably got a bit tired the 60 overall stamina is not going to be that great Shaw had to come on and replace him but 11 days is how long it's going to take Herrera to recover from that injury we have a look at his striker look at that 20 years of age 77 overall he's a beast man Dybala Dybala whatever you want to call him I'm going to call him Paolo D we put in an offer of 10 million pounds they want 9.7 to 14.3 but his value is only 4.3 so I'll dip down it to 8.3 uh, 8.3 8 million and we put that offer in for the young striker and we also look at this for this striker for my um, reserves team by the way guys I'm not going to play in my first team 64 overall you're crazy 18 years of age 375,000 value so I did offer a transfer some for some reason Fulham were asking 1.6 to 2.6 but I was like that's not gonna happen I'll offer you 800,000 you know because you'll probably get up to about that much of worth in a couple of years and then I can get rid of him for li literally what I bought him for man but Danny Ings there I do go ahead and approach Burnley to buy because I did want to buy him he had been sitting in my li literally sitting on my scout report for literally this whole episode and I had to check him out so I did offer them three million 
submit the offer I do, they do come back and we'll see what they say man but I offer them three million look at that guys Real Madrid signed Sergio Aguero for 60 million it seems to happen every FIFA career mode I've saw in comment section before I done this career mode I checked out other career modes out because I wanted to see what you guys are watching and what you guys are into and obviously Aguero always goes to Real Madrid apparently but also Manchester City are gonna be without him so they're gonna be easier to beat hopefully and it also means they've got a lot of money so they're gonna be spending a lot of money on players so I'm not sure how I feel about that man but our transfer offer gets rejected from Burnley there that three million for Danny Ings are we gonna put in a new offer yes we are we're gonna go straight down there come on come on come on we we'll go to Ings submit the new offer how much we're we gonna put in? We've put him up to four million. His worth, his value is two point eight. Why are they asking so much, man? We just put it up to four million. We got a sim match though. We put our first team in because it's against Barcelona. And what made me literally like sick about this game? This made me sick, man. Look at their team. They've got Masip, Masip, however you pronounce that, in goal. Montoya in right back. Vermaelen gets his first game for Barcelona. Mascarano, Alba Busquets, Rakitic, Roberto, Rafinha, Messi, Neymar. So a lot of second team and reserve players in the team. Not like any Iniesta's on the bench. Alves is on the bench. PK is on the bench. Xavi's on the bench, and we still come out. We're losing 2-1. We get the we get the draw. 2-2. 83rd minute Di Maria scores and I was just thinking wait they've got second team and reserve team players in the Barcelona squad we've got our first team our literally our first team the biggest team we could put up against Barcelona and we draw what the hell man imagine facing the first team Barcelona squad or the first team Real Madrid squad or someone like that like FC Bayern Munich crazy man we're gonna we're gonna get killed out there we need to make some changes to our squad man but Johnny Evans gonna be he suffered a pulled quad and he's gonna be out for two weeks and we also put in a 10 million bid for Dybala if you guys didn't see that and look at this Fulham's Moussa Dembele they've accepted a bid for 1.7 million and I was like I wouldn't even put 1.5 on the guy, let alone 1.7, man. But look at that. 47 million from Manchester City. They're looking to spend that money that Aguero got them, that moolah. And I said, give me 85 million. Bring it in cash in a little bag, a little carrier bag, if you can fit it in. And Wayne Rooney can walk away with your club. How about that one, man? But we also upped the bid for Danny Ings. They said no to 4 million. We put it up to 5 million. We just weren't willing to pay 6.5 million for the beast. And then Fulham accepted a bid for 1.7. We knew that anyway, but look at that, guys. We have reviewed your asking price of 85 million for Wayne Rooney and have decided to match it and go ahead with the deal. So Manchester City are taking Wayne Rooney. Oh, one of, arguably one of the best players in our team, man. And then Falcao's going out when his loan finishes as well. We had to look for a striker. We had to look for players. Look at this. Straight away, we go into our global transfer network. Hopefully, Wayne Rooney doesn't sign their contract and the talks break down. But just in case, we're looking for a striker. A first-team quality striker. And if we've got 85 million, you guys know, right? We're going to be looking for our left back. We're going to be looking for our right back. We're going to be looking for that center back. We're going to be looking for everything that we can get with that 85 million pounds. But anyway, we need to concentrate on the game. We, we can't concentrate, man. We just can't. Wayne Rooney may be leaving the club. He's, in the, he's on the bench in this game. We're playing our reserve squad against Nice, the French team. It goes to the 10th minute and nothing's happened. We got Hanazai on the left. We got Rothwell, Rothwell is it? Um, in the middle, our reserve player. We've got Thorpe Blackett, Kelly Alfatori, all at the back. Literally like a reserve fullback um, defensive system going on there, man. But it's 54th minute. We're down 2 0. And I was like, bring Matter in. Come on. Matter comes in. Rooney comes in for my, what might be his last game. 90th minute comes. We lose 2 0. Rooney playing what could be his last game. Coming off the bench and not even making a difference in what could be his last game. And then we find the beast. Karim Benzema, 26 years of age, 85 overall, 23 million pounds value. Could be a great replacement for Wayne Rooney. So we do go ahead and watch him just in case. And Palomo won 14 million for Dybala. I'm just not willing to give that at all. But Wayne Rooney is gone. He's left the club. He's gone to Manchester City. 72 million put in our transfer budget. What are we going to do with that? 
You'll have to find out in the next episode. I'm so sad. Hey guys, it is your boy Sonny here. Make sure you kick that like button in the face. Also leave a comment below who you want me to buy with that transfer moolah. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. It's been your boy Sonny and I'm out. Peace.